Hi everyone, how are you? It is Dr. Splickles, CEO and founder of Naboso, founder of EBFA Global, podiatrist and human movement specialist. So we are going to speak about how you can create faster stabilization for from the ground up with what's called toe to tongue. So at EBFA, we speak a lot about foot to core sequencing. This is via short foot and how your feet connect your pelvic floor and your diaphragm. Well, guess what? We can take this even further by going from the tips of your toes all the way to your tongue. So if you're not familiar with the deep front fascia line, this fascia line actually runs from your long flexors, the tips of your toes to the bottom of your foot, your inner thigh, pelvic floor diaphragm, up your neck and to your tongue. So by building that stabilization from the toe to the tongue, you are creating this postural stability, this fascial tensegrity that is going to help you create more power, force and resistance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this now. And what I'm going to be incorporating is a technique called tension stacking. So as you create foot to core sequencing or toe to tongue stability, you want to be thinking about how this ties in to fascial lines, fascial stiffness and tension stacking. So for this, I'm going to have you guys stand up and join me and you will want to take your shoes off, of course. So I am standing. Uh, on an aboso mat. So if you do a barefoot and on an aboso mat, you get that sensory stimulation, which just gets even more foot activation. If you're familiar with short foot, still join me because I want you to experience this tension stacking. So I'm gonna have you start with your feet shoulder width apart, find your foot tripod, spread your toes nice and wide, place them black down onto the floor, and then have soft knees, soft knees, stack your rib cage and your pelvis. So when you're doing any sort of deep core, foot to core sequencing, you want to make sure that rib cage is in good alignment with your pelvis. If we're standing with this lordotic curvature and an open rib cage, it's going to be really hard to find that foot to core stability. So I'm stacked. My knees are soft. The reason why you want your knees soft is that when we do short foot, we create a locking mechanism up your lower extremity. So never lock those knees. Knees are soft foot tripod, toes spread. So we want to start by engaging our core. So I want you to engage your core first, feel that stability, and then you're gonna push your toes down into the ground. As soon as you did that, did you feel that there was this uptick or an engagement of stability from your feet? And then let's relax it. Let's do that again. Engage your core, TVA, pelvic floor, hold it, and now push your toes down into the floor. Boom. As soon as I did that, I felt my core stability engage higher. I'm going to have you release that again. And we're going to add on. So engage your core, push your toes down, feel that stability, hold it, and now make a fist. As soon as you did that, did you feel an increase in your tension and your stability? And then let's relax all. Do that again. Engage the core, toes go down, make a fist, or you could actually open your hands wide, kind of how gymnasts open their hands, hold, and then release. And then after you do that, I want you to engage your core. Now we're gonna add the tongue, engage the core, toes go down, make your fist, and then tongue to the pellet. Boom, as soon as you did that, did you feel that engagement just pop? So what we're doing is we're playing with tension stacking, and I want you to feel how that tension stacking goes from the tips of your toes, through the pelvic floor, all the way to your extremities, and then to your tongue. So I like to use this technique in the movement prep, or before you're about to do a lift, before you do a heavy squat, you gotta get that body ready from a fascial perspective, from an integrated perspective, from a tensegrity perspective. And then if you wanna know a bonus to this, is that when you activate your tongue ligaments, you stimulate a part of your brain called your reticular activating system, which is the ignition to your brain. So not only are you activating your fascial tensegrity, but you are activating your brain and getting it ready for that session, ready to learn, or ready for the game. To learn more about how you can build fascial tensegrity and foot to core sequencing, head to ebfaglobal.com.